So the first veggie I'm prepping is zucchini and I'm just gonna keep these in pretty big chunks so just slicing them in half and then in half again. Next up is white sweet potato and I really like this as an alternative to banana. It has a really neutral taste, just a little bit sweet and it adds some healthy carbs to smoothies. So I'm just gonna chop the pieces up to about ice cube size pieces. Lastly, I'm gonna prep some carrots and I'm gonna keep all of these scraps and compost them later. I'll link a video about composting here, just cutting these up to small pieces. And now to steam, I'm just gonna add a little water to this pot and add this steaming basket and then um, going to add my zucchini in just like this, just fitting them all in there, putting the lid on and then turning the heat on to high. Once the water starts to boil, I'll turn the temp down to low, let it cook for a little bit. After a few minutes, I'll come and check it and it's tender, so I'm gonna turn it off and transfer these zucchini slices to this cutting board just to cool off a little bit. And before I freeze these, I want them to be smaller pieces, so I'm just gonna quickly chop these up like this. All right, zucchini's done. I'm gonna add a little bit more water to this pot and add the steaming basket back in along with the sweet potatoes, as many as I can get in here. I'm gonna add the lid here and then follow the same process. So turn the heat up to high. Once the water boils, I'll turn it down to low and let the sweet potato cook until it's tender with a fork. Okay, last batch. I'm just going to add a little bit more water and put the rest of the sweet potatoes along with those carrots I cut up and just follow the same process. I'll just cook them until they are fork tender. I like to prep a lot of these veggies at once. That way I can just stick them in the freezer and have them ready for smoothies whenever I want for the next couple of weeks. Okay, so now that all of these veggies are done cooking and they've cooled down just a little bit, I'm gonna add them to this large baking sheet pan I have. And the reason I'm doing this first is because if you just add them to a container, they will freeze together like a big chunk of ice and you'll never be able to get them separated. This big pan fits in my chest freezer, but if I am not using my chest freezer, then I'll just add some of the veggies to the lids of the containers I'm gonna freeze them in. And that way they'll fit right into my upstairs freezer. See you in a little bit, veggies. Okay, these veggies are all frozen now, so I'm just going to transfer them into these Tupperware containers where I'll store them in the freezer until I'm ready to use them. And even though it's a couple of extra steps, because I froze them this way, whenever I go to use them, um, they'll just come out easily instead of being frozen together like a big block of ice. Prepping these veggies actually makes me really happy because I know I'm doing a favor for my future self when I'm feeling rushed in the morning. I know I can just reach in here and grab something quickly to make a healthy smoothie. It's a great way to get some extra veggies into your diet just by quickly throwing them into a smoothie. And the sweet potato and the zucchini are actually the perfect base for one of my favorites, minty shamrock smoothie, which I'll link here. And having them frozen and ready to go just means I can quickly add them and have a delicious smoothie in no time.